करती हूँ
Good morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Session six, right? Yes, ma'am. Is there any doubt in session five? Can I do something? No, ma'am. Uh, can you see the screen? Can you see this uh, word file, Adriva? Uh, no, ma'am. I can't see the word file. Screen sharing. Rahul, can you see? Yes, ma'am. Good morning. Can you see the screen? Uh, oh, the screen shared or the board? I can see the board, but not the screen share. Board
Second camera is not that right. Where is it? This is easy. Where is the finding? Is this smaller? I don't know why it's something like this. It's basically the whole file. Can you see now? Can you guys see now, Aditya? Uh, uh, Rahul? Yes, ma'am. Can you see the screen? Can you see this word file? Uh, some things written, but uh, you are, she is, it's, which, it is, it is. And B, this is the contraction, not the possessive. I think you have zoomed in too much. You have to zoom out, I guess. Yeah, it's just showing. I don't know why it's showing us a PowerPoint. Just now. Something wrong. Okay, we'll just start. Okay. okay, so what do we remember about session uh, five that is we did yesterday? Let's recap quickly. Aditya, anything you remember? I'm sorry, ma'am. Can you repeat? Uh, your voice is. Hello. Yeah, can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, internet connection is a little unstable also. One second. Agrima, can you hear us? 
Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. Okay. Agriva, can you quickly recap what we did yesterday? Quick one. Uh, Yes, ma'am. Uh, we did synonyms and antonyms, and we discussed uh, the rules about how to go about when you don't know a word, uh, words exact synonym or antonym. You use your, um, like, based on the context, you figure it out, or the tone of the word, and yeah, and you see the most appropriate form, like, if it's a noun, then it should be a noun or something like that. Yeah, verb and verb, that is what we discussed. And then we also discussed the meaning of homophones. Remember? Homonyms, homophones, these were the things which we were discussing. So, Aditya, can you tell us what are those? Aditya? Rahul, can you hear us? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Ram, can you tell us what are these homonyms, homophones? Oh, ma'am, those are words that sound the same or, and even might have the same spelling but have, the, have different meaning. Okay. So they may have different meanings, and of course, they will have different meanings, and of course, your grammatical functions would uh, differ. Okay, so. Um, okay, so that is also the difference you could find. So synonyms, antonyms, any doubt is Neha? Can you please switch on your camera? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We tried for long. Okay, so today what we are doing is we are basically trying to identify homophones is pretty simple. Okay, you would understand by looking at it, you know, spellings and your meaning different and all these things. But what we are focusing is on your contractions. How exactly you need to identify them in your exams? This will be your entire uh, you know, session. So over here, they say, have you ever heard about this word isn't and is not? What is the difference between isn't and is not? Anyone? Yeah, but uh, when do we use it? Why I don't use is not? Like, for example, uh, if I have to say that uh, party was not present over here, that's not that was, like, party is not present over here and party isn't present. So, why do I use that? What is the correct form? Anyone, Rahul, Agrima? Um, is not is the correct form because is not is formal, whereas isn't is not informal. Okay, that's one of the ideas. I just came from the form. Any other thing if you guys can think of? And what do you think, as for you, is the difference between possessive and the contractions? What is the difference? Because they say homophones, possessives, and contractions. Let's give homophones, so it's pretty simple. We covered a bit over there. Let's focus only on possessives and contractions. Let's see your knowledge. Anything. You can just share whatever you know. Okay, ITS is possessive. I am apostrophe S. Okay. Can you all see the board also? Oh, no, I'm not the board. Yes. 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 Uh, 
Now we can see the word file. Can you see the word file also, Aditya? No, ma'am. <laughs> Only the board now we can see. Yes. I need to be. Can you see the word file now? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's stick to this. Thank you. So here you can uh, see that in contractions, what we say, we use apostrophe. That's the first rule. Okay, please do write it down in your notebook because it will be useful in your exams. So just have to read this and I mean, last word. So that is what that we use for strongly in contractions. Okay. Uh, Agrima, have you written? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Like, for example, can you see an example over here? Agrima, can you read out the example, please? Yeah. For example, couldn't, don't, isn't, your, she's, it's, which is, it is, uh, NB, this is the contraction, not the possessive. This is about the contraction, okay. And do you think possessive pronouns require an apostrophe? So you can make it simple. What you can do in your notebook is apostrophe, you can write, uh, make an apostrophe and you can write no. Over here you can make an apostrophe and you can write yes under contraction, okay. So you can divide the, your notebook into two halves. So possessives and your contraction. So that you remember when you're going for your last minute study. Okay, so now they say what are contractions. So if I say, for example, contractions, like she said, it, the contractions require an apostrophe. So this is something which can be broken down, a word which can be broken down, so that is a contraction. Can you make a, a for a name, can you divide it? Can you break, break down the name, name? You can't break down the name. So these are some basic things which they ask that is when you need to figure out what the case is like, so that you need to Okay, so you can see the first thing. In uh, grammatical terms, you can see this shortening of words. That is what a contraction means. And uh, let's see the common contractions over here. These are something important. Why? Because we usually do this. Uh, Rahul, can you read out the first one? Let's see the difference. I... I am. Okay. I I will. I would. I okay. have. I, I have. I have. So your uh, which one is a contraction? The upper one or the lower one? The lower one is the contraction. Lower one is the contraction. Just give a quick glimpse of this uh, table over here. You you can see you are you will you would you have you had. Okay. Especially children uh, do problem over here. Hard thing. Okay, so they don't write this. You have that is you apostrophe T. This is where things goes wrong. So you can just see the last column over here, which is most important. Similarly, he you can see same thing. Once you know one thing, you can write everything. He would, she has, she had, it, you can see, be, they, that, who, what, where, when, why, and how. So I would just request you to write one thing in your room. Any one thing. I can see. Is that okay? Can you all read that easily? Rahul, Agrima, Aditya. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Rahul, Agrima, Aditya, can you just write any one thing in your notebook? Any one thing. Whichever you think I would suggest would go for I. Okay. You take a call. Which one you think is most important as for you? Complete thing. So how you change be, will, would, have, had. So 
write it for I or anything. You take a column, divide it into B, will, would, have, and had. And see how it is written. How do you write I had? Just see I had quickly. Had is most important. It's always missing from schools. Okay. I think this you guys can manage. Even has and have. Who I think you must have read a lot about has, what is, and you know, it's more important today or something like this. When, when has, just see whenever we are writing uh, has, apostrophe S, whenever we are writing have, so apostrophe V. That's more, that's important. So has, have. yes, please. Are you writing something on the board because we can't say anything? I think they don't worry. What I'm writing is the same thing which is there on the board, uh, on the screen. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Don't worry. So I'm just trying to simplify things. So what I'm trying to say over here is that you write something which is uh, can you see the last column over here Aditya? yes ma'am i think you have a grip on this topic so but you still if you think you can write this um can you see this hard thing apostrophe d that is how you write it this i'm saying because it's commonly common mistakes in exams okay that's why i'm saying it. but if you have a grip you can ignore If you guys are comfortable, then I'll move on. Tell, let me know. Rahul, Agrima, Adityan. And even Sneha. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Are you comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Now see some negative words over here. You need to identify in your exam your negative words as well as your positive words. Okay. Like you were doing yesterday, remember the negative negative thing. And all these things throughout your exam, you will find somewhere or other. So, these are some of your negative words which you need to remember. I think you can manage. Uh, did not, cannot is very normal, you know, usually used. I think maybe see the last one, last two might not and must not. Usually, we mistakes. If you want to just write down in your notebook these two last two words, if you can see, I think you can manage shouldn't, couldn't, couldn't so otherwise also can't, you know, couldn't. So all these things. So just write the last two ones in a notebook. Might not. Mom, does need not also count? Need not? Need not, yes. It's not there, but yes. Once you tell me Rahul Agrima, then I'll scroll down. Sneha, Aditya.
I think over here, do you think anyone difficult should words would, could, could have, might have, must have? You guys can manage this, I guess. Agrima, Sneha, would you be able to do the contraction for this? Yes. Would yes. In case if you think you are in doubt, you can just write for might have. Might have is something not usually used. Sneha, I remember you. How are you? Good. I'm good. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, shall we? Okay, you can see over here possessive nouns. In short, you would be knowing. This will not come in the exam of possession and ownership of definitions and all this. Just for your understanding. Like that's your ownership. Now that's mine. That's known as a possessive noun. So you can see the toy, dogs, toys, sweets, and singular nouns by adding dog as a toy. It's the dog's toy. Did you get it? Okay. I what I meant is uh, over here is that you know how you say in the sense if it's possessive thing, if it's mine, if it's uh, if it's if I say dog and a toy. Okay, so you're just telling the dog. Okay, I know it's the dog's toy. So you can actually tell you that that's the dog's toy. It belongs to you. So then belongingness comes. So the answer was to be either when it's possessive noun or possessive noun. See, over here, you also use it when the possessive noun is the same. Then the other is the same. Possessive noun is called identified as this. Okay, so that's not something that apostrophe has one in the text. Any reading English, otherwise, it's not something that always with that. Generally, also two weeks. Okay, so that's not classification, but they're just saying that you might use it for the possessive things. So don't limit yourself to one. That's when the exam is. Okay, so when you're, um, Sneha, uh, Agni, have you understood this? What I meant? Yes, ma'am. So when you're in possessive, what, what did I say? The what is for possessive nouns uh, show? Ownership of possession. <laughs> Possession. That is, you can you see the difference over here? The dog has a toy and it's the dog's toy. Have you understood, Abhima? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you can also see your plural possessive nouns over here, not ending in the letter. So over here, you can see men's, mice, I think. Ends in S. You must have heard about this ocean. You write with apostrophe. Cars. But after apostrophe comes after S in some of the words. So apostrophe doesn't always come before that. So it's also, because it's known as silent. So that is what they are saying. So maybe you can just write this example. To if the plural noun ends in an S, then in that case you add an apostrophe to make it possessive. This one is important, oceans and cars. That's a common mistake. That's the rule which you need to follow. And not ending in the letter S. Then in that case, you add an apostrophe, then add S. This is really important. Okay? This will come in your exercises. Plural possessive nouns.
Can anybody guess the possessive pronoun of they? How do you spell? Same. There. There as how do you pronounce? Uh, how do you spell? E H E I R. Yes. So they there. Processing. You can manage all these things. Okay, so now just look at page number 67. Let's just see if you have any doubt. So you can see over here that homophones are your commonly confused words. See page number sixty seven. Online, I think Rahul Agriva, Rahul Agriva, Aditya and Sneha, right? Okay, so can you see page number sixty seven that is they talk about homophones that is commonly confused words that sound the same. And then you can see the same possessives and contractions which we did just now. That the it's versus it possessive and the contraction of it is. Uh, Rahul, can you read the first example, please? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. He gave the dog its chew toy before it chewed up all our shoes. Okay. See you. They are there, there. Can you see the difference? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Um, yes, ma'am. Can you please read out the sentence so everybody can see it? Yeah, they're really lucky that their luggage was yeah, they are really lucky that their luggage was at the hotel when they got there. So try and understand the difference. Same sounds. Okay, it's sounding the same, pronunciation is same, however the meaning is different. That's your own voice. Okay, and you can also see for you are, your, and other thing, can you tell me what the who's and who's, the difference? Who's and who's, one is uh, an apostrophe, uh, one, one has an apostrophe and the other is spelled as W-H-O-I-C. Okay, and Pathy, uh, are you clear with E-R and word? Immigrant and emigrant. Yeah, what does this mean? In short, don't read it. You want me to read or uh, okay? Uh, Just explain. Emigrant uh, is uh, means it, it they both refer to the same person, but it depends on uh, which place is he going to or coming from. Like if I'm going from place A to country A to country B, then for country I am an emigrant. And for the arriving country, I am an immigrant. Okay, yeah, I think the uh, other thing you're talking about page number 70, right? Yes. So we were doing page number 68. Can you see the common mistaken words, homophones, the first one? Oh, I 
I'm sorry, imminent and imminent. Yes. Uh, imminent means on the harbor just about to arrive, and uh, imminent is someone who's famous, popular. Okay, and now also see this effect. Effect is a verb or a noun? What is the difference between a noun and a verb, guys? Rahul, Agrima, anyone? Now, a verb is an action. Okay. Noun is a name, place, animal, thing, whatever. Can. Okay, so what is the difference between effect and effect? A and E. Which is a noun, which is a verb? Oh, they both are actually noun and verbs, but oh, generally affect is a verb. The A one is a verb and E one is a noun. Yes, and what made you say that? That's right. What is the logic behind this? Mm. Do you mean in terms of uh, when we... Um, Use it in the form of a sentence. Do you mean that way? Yeah. Then that in that case is right. Yeah. So if you're using it in, in terms of the like, for example, I'm talking and I'm trying to explain you something. Okay, that's how it changes effect and effect. So when you are saying in grammatical terms, you were absolutely right. Right? In grammatical logic sense, you were right. But when you're applying something. Then in that case, the things change. That is what you were saying also. You know, the little twist. You know. So that is your thing. Just uh, read Nation 68. If you have any doubt, then only we'll discuss that. Explicit. Elude. Illusion. If you guys are comfortable, then I'll take a test. You take a call. Or you want to just read them for five minutes. Agrima, Rahul, Sneha, Aditya. I need to understand your comfort level. I'm fine, man, with the test. You're fine with the test. Rahul, you're comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Agrima is comfortable? Yes, ma'am. Sneha? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so in that case, you have to switch on your camera. Put your camera on your sheet. Okay. I need to see all four of you. And then you can do the test. You want five minutes? Is there anyone? You just want to go through these words. And I'm taking tests only from limited portion. I will not take everything. Let's be comfortable. Okay, it's basically I'll be asking you to identify the specific attractions. Come on, let me say the words. That will do it at the end. We'll finish it. Okay. Two other things. 
Till 74, if you guys are in for still 74, or you want me to give you five minutes and just go through till 74. Anything till 74. Aditya, are you comfortable till page number 74? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I please put your camera if you can on your notebook, please. If you can, I don't know if you can. Uh, is it is the I don't can. Yeah, I think it's a little difficult for you. Agrima, Rahul, Sneha, till page number 74. It's 10.39, I'm starting at 10.45, six minutes. Quickly, any doubts ask?
one more minute to the And uh, what you guys need to do is, I'll give you the word, and you're supposed to make a sentence. And sentences will not, will not be same, of course. They will be in variety the class. So you can make a let's see where we are going. Okay, you are open to make and just have to use that word in your sentence. This will help us identify the right words where to use the answer. Just try this. Shall we start? Are you in agreement? Shall we start? I said what? Okay, the first word, prescribe. Please close your textbooks, everyone. It's absolutely okay to be wrong. That's what we are doing. Proscribe and prescribe. You need to make a sentence out of it. Are they you clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. The first word, Prescribe, prescribe. Don't make very long sentences, very short ones. Just give you the meanings. Prescribe, prescribe, prescribe. Yes. Prescribe, prescribe. I'll just give you the hint, the doctor. Have to use the same form, okay? To change. You can only change it to e. You can add ed. You can add es. All these things you can do. Prescribed, proscribed. You can do all that stuff. Int is the doctor. Huh? And I'm sorry, I won't give you much time. I'll be quick. Okay, the other word. Yes, please. Somebody said something. Q U I E T, quiet. Q U I T, quiet. Quiet, quiet. We are done. Third one. Proceed. 
Proceed. Proceed. Proceed is like moving forward. Proceed in advance. Fourth one. You can take your time. Huh? Either ideal. is like prayer thing. Happy year following thing. Fifth one. Rain, rain, R E I, so it sounds the same, but I'm just doing it to give you difference. Otherwise, when you read it, you're supposed to feel like that. I'm the word is invisible. Can you tilt the camera? Yeah, the word is on the screen. You can start Okay, that's the one second. I'll drop the first one, okay? Sixth one, I'm writing it over here. Able, capable. A slight difference between two. And the sixth pair is able and capable. Correct. Slight difference. Very slight. Yeah. 
This is the other one is important, common mistake. Seventh one. the Rahul's name now. Okay, fine. Aditya, once we're done, please let me know. Then we should discuss those. Done, ma'am. I'm done. Done. Shall we start? Rahul is saying, I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, let's go with the first. Okay, 
Prescribe. Stay on the bed here for me. Prescribe. What do you write? Sentence. Mom, the sentence for prescribe. Yes, please. Um, the sale of drugs is prescribed by law. Perfect, Sneha. Uh, good. Uh, prescribe, uh, Aditya. Uh, the pharmacist prescribed these medicines for the for the Okay. Rahul prescribed. Polygamy was prescribed by the Catholic Church. Okay. Okay, prescribe. The pharmacy did not have the medicine that the doctor had prescribed. Okay. Prescribe. Prescribe. Quiet morning despite the usual traffic. Okay, Fabi, do you like it? Do you like that? Is, do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? She was quite upset about it. Proceed. Yeah. Okay. Um, one second. The classes proceeded as usual despite the heavy rain. Proceed. Okay. Um, Sneha? Yeah. Proceed. Same. We need to proceed with our plan. Okay. Rahul, proceed. I let her proceed me through the door. What is the meaning of proceed? Uh, before, basically. To... Yes. And Abhima, can you focus on events? Proceed. Uh, yes, we need. Uh, yeah. That, that novel precedes the other one. What is the meaning of proceed? Uh, it's the opposite of succeed, like uh, before. Yes, very good. Proceed. Yeah. Proceed. Proceed. Next one. Idle. Aditya? I-D-E-A-L. Idle. In an ideal world, he didn't have paid for his son's privileges. Agreed. Rahul, idle? E-A-L or O-L? I'm sorry. I, ideal or idol? Ideal. Oh. In India, worshipping idols is very common. Ideal? Ideal. 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 
Everyone uh, seeked out his advice. Okay, good. And other one? Uh, he, the doctor advised against doing that. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. I think they have something. So, uh, can you just repeat C, E, and S? What's the difference you said? Oh, Abhima said it, I guess. Uh, one is when you give an a single piece of advice and advising is like uh, I mean it's it's like uh, advice can be like a single piece like the C one the S one is like uh, I can't really explain it, but like I know the difference, but I, I just okay. can't put it into words. Okay, so any doubt in this? Are you all sorted? Ma'am, can yes. you explain advice and advice? Okay, it's the basic difference in how you apply it. Is, is, is it in the form of a laugh or is it in the form of a book? That's a good question. Okay. And so, uh, till page number 74, is there any doubt? Are you Thank you. 
Any doubt till page number 74? Is everyone okay? Aditya, are you okay till page number 74? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's complete our practice questions quickly. Ma'am, I have already done the practice version of this exercise. So, can I, uh, can I rest or? The rest? Don't rest, but what you can do is I can uh, give you some examples to form sentences. Okay. Because, see, um, Aditya, I really appreciate that you have done it, but you know, um, I checked it. Somehow, more or less, everything is there in the next. So, we don't have options to break it. And even from the past papers which I was seeing, the past paper, the problem is that it's a complete paper. You know, we can't identify which session you can look at. You understand? Okay, ma'am. That was the basic problem. No worries, ma'am. I'll, I'll uh, verify if my answer is correct or wrong. You can. Yeah. So I can only suggest because if you have a grip, so you can always be right in your exams. So, you know, you can easily clear your crack your exam. Just okay. Yeah. We don't have it available. So, page number 75. Ten questions, five minutes. You can um, do exercise one, two, three, one and two only. And then one and one and which one?
Once you guys are done, let me know please. Abdullah, Rahul, Sneha, Aditya. Thank you. 
Um, ma'am. Yes, please. Uh, ma'am, I'm done. Uh, but I had a question. In question number 10 and 17, there's an error in the textbook of exercise 2. Question number 10, what is the problem? Uh, Ma'am, there are only four uh, statements, like questions, and there are five options. Uh, it's because uh, if you see the fourth statement, it has two options. Sorry, I didn't notice. But then question number uh, 17 uh, of the same exercise, uh, in the second question, both options have the same word. So, yeah, you your cards. Okay, in your second option, what you need to do is uh, the first word. Can you see the page? Everyone, please. Page number 78, question number 17. If you see the word breaks, so make it break. Remove S from there. Uh, from the first word or the second word? Yes, from first word. First. Um, yes. Uh, so sorry, I didn't read the sentence. Sadhana pointed out that. Uh, over here, in place of B-R-E-A-K-S, Rahul Steha, we're supposed to write B-R-A-K-E, break. And she made sense what she's saying. So I think that's the right error. Um, in place of the first word? Yes, please. Okay. B-R-A-K-E.
Yes, ma'am. So, except one. The first answer is let's mark the correct answers first and then take up your doubts. One B, two A, three A, four A, five A, six B, seven B, eight B, nine A, ten A. Okay, let's see exercise two. One A. Dwarka Kurkarbi. May I request you to switch on your camera? Hello, ma'am. This is Dwarka. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I'm leaving. I'm going to Zoom one because we had meeting here. So I joined here. Anyhow, I'll leave with ma'am. Yeah. Okay, so exercise two, one A, two A, three A, four B, five B, six C, seven D. 8A, 9C, 10C, 11A, 12A, 13B, 14B, 15B, 16B, 17B, 18C, 19A, and 20A. Aditya, are you there? Uh, 17 was which one? B, B for Bombay. Bomb. 18 C, 19 A, 20 A. Now let's discuss your doubts. Anyone? Page number 75, any doubt? All of you, 75? Mom, the ninth one. Ninth one, Thursday, yeah, and sixth one. Okay, let's discuss the second part first. Frustration is implicit, explicit in any attempt to express the deepest self. What is the meaning of implicit and explicit? First? Okay, she said nine. Uh, Sneha, I think she's clear with that ninth one. Okay, Sneha? The judge warned the prisoner that he will countermand or countervail the bail of the offender if he may misbehave in the court. Um, Say, do you know the meaning of this countermand and countervail? No, ma'am. Okay, it's like, for example, if we say we are increasing it and we are decreasing it, not in literal terms, but into understanding. Okay. So if you misbehave, you could be increasing it, right? You could be, you could be giving more punishment to it. So that's why they say the A part. Clear? Yeah? Okay, exercise two, any doubt? Uh, Ma'am, I had a doubt in exercise one, question eight. Exercise one, question number eight. Without granting of this credit goes to the granting of this credit goes our best wishes for the success in a business venture. My dear, what is the doubt over here? Uh, like I, you said that B is the answer, but then shouldn't go be right because like our best wishes go like it's acting as a single entity. So no, no, no. it can never be go. It has to be goes. With our best wishes, goes. So it's, it's a common sentence. It's how we use it. That uh, while you're sending the best wishes, this also goes with you. 
Yeah, I mean, usually it's go, but then if you think about it, like in another sense, like our best wishes can be considered as a single entity, I feel so. If you didn't have the second part of the sentence. Then getting it. Business venture thing is there. That's why. I mean, this is pretty regular life experience. I mean, yes, part. Okay. Yeah. Exercise two. Anyone till one to nineteen? Any doubt? Which question? Thank you. 
Question number 11 of exercise 2. Yes, please. Exercise 2, 11. Uh, which part here? The first one. It... The college affected a new policy on legal capital by teacher. The college affected a new policy. There's a difference between effect and effect. Effect is I'm bringing a new Affected means I am uh, being infect, uh, affected by uh, the negativity around or by the positivity around. Affected, which is directly on me. Affected is in policy. Like for yeah, example, so, uh, yes. so uh, shouldn't it be affected like with an E? Because it's saying the college affected a new policy on leave and engagement. So it's... Uh, like issuing or validating a new policy. So it's related to, you know, how you say that this rule will be uh, in effect from this, this yes. date. So that's with an E. So over here also the E should be right because if the students were affected or the teachers, whoever are affected by this policy, then it would be with an A, but this should be with an E, I think. Ah, okay. If they would have uh, given you the date with effect from, then it is E. Okay. Over oh. here, here, they are not saying the new policy has come into effect or anything. What they are saying is that there was a new policy which came into effect, but that policy affected these people. On the new but, but it says the college affected a new policy on leave and cashment by teachers. So, but 
it affected a new policy. How does the A thing make my sense? Like, like, for example, I took a leave, okay, and I wanted to leave encashment, but since the new policy has come in, so that policy has affected my leave encashment. Now I'm not getting money out of it. Okay, if I'm saying the policy has come into effect, okay, the new policy is there, which has come into effect, that's E. But this new policy, which has come into effect, has affected my leave encashment, which I have brought in use. So that's why it's A. Okay. Because it's directly impacting me. And it's only impacting me as a teacher. It is not impacting everyone around me. That's not in effect. Okay. So the, the, that's why we always use WCM with effect from with effect from this particular day it is coming up. Okay. Mm -hmm. this, next question. Any doubt? Question number. Anything before 20? Sneha, Rahul, Akrima, Aditya, Aditya, where is he? Question number 20. <laughs> English form has been translated. Which part are you? Part you? Third part. No sooner did we start talking about his personal achievements than his achievements began to yawn. Which one he was saying? Yeah. Then is used when we are bringing an effect somewhat. Like, for example, um, we started with this exercise and other they left the class. Why? Because we had already done something. Okay, then he left the class. That's yes, yes. Okay, but it is over here that the effect was there, but you didn't actually do something. You just yawning. That's what's that. But an effect which leads to something, then it is there. It tends to connect those. But that's a basic Is everyone clear? Agriva, Rahul, Sneha? Which words? Yeah. Has been translated in the language? Okay. Uh, one is. Translated means that there was a script which has been translated. Like, for example, if it was written in English, it has been translated. They have given that. But one of the other is the trainer usually works with the base um, the was pointing there. Okay. And it has just been explained. That's what the literature means. But if you want to just check that the correct name of the standard, probably what becomes a little bit. Created the literacy aspect of this explanation. Which means usually names are not
country made many allies uh, during the war Um, 
apologize. Okay. Steha is not there. Everyone, everyone, tell me something in terms of rope. You couldn't hear. We are okay. Wait, I still wouldn't hear you. I'm really sorry. Could you type it in the chat box if that's possible? P R O K E Pro. P R O K E. Yes. Um. Base, what she pointed out. B, wait, B R O K E or P R O K E? B. Before ball. Oh, then uh, he was broke. What does this mean? I mean, you, you can have two meanings. One can be the cashless thing, yes. uh, broke, or it can be the uh, something's broken type. Good. Rahul Greek. B L E A K. C R E A K. I still couldn't get it. Oh, Greek. Oh, um, let's have taken a test tomorrow. I thought you guys are honest enough and you'll read it. I actually know the meaning, but like, uh, I don't know how to tell you. Okay, that's okay. You tell me in the comment sentence. Hmm. The door was creaking. Yeah, this is okay. Squealing sense. kind of squeaking basically. Yes. Okay. Tomorrow shall we do it? Tomorrow we are doing session seven. Okay. After the completion of session seven, there will be a test on these doors. Tomorrow. After completing session seven, because session seven won't take much time, and we have to go out of time. If you just need session seven, one. Phrases and all, it doesn't take much time. It's very simple. Okay. And we also need to familiarize ourselves with some uh, idioms and phrases. So, tomorrow there will be a test. So, what you guys can do is spend only one hour today. Okay, I don't take much of your time. Only one hour of your time today. So what you need to do is you just have to go through this page. That's your page number 52 to page number 66. Aditya, tomorrow there is a test. Page number 52 to page yeah. number 66. Akrima, please write it. You'll get otherwise. And there will also be a test on Page number 86. So page number 100. 86 to 100. I know I'm giving you a lot, but I will just take it one day. I don't do it every day. Okay? It's only great because I don't prefer the work at all. Only for today, if you do it, the benefit is when you come tomorrow. You will have some kind of phrases in your hand. Okay, rest you will cover up in the class and we'll finish up everything.
contestant five. Akrima, Rahul, uh, Sneha, Aditya. You're clear with tomorrow's test, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, it's only for today. I'm giving you work, otherwise, I won't. So just spend your day today. So, if you guys want to leave, you guys can leave. I'm just telling them the syllabus. What do you want to say? Safi. Session 5, what we have done, right? Session 6, today we did. Session 7, I'll be coming. Okay, so this is a day of session 8. Is session 8 I'm clicking on? I don't know who's there. Let me check out. Session 8, I think, uh, 10th April. I think you're not here. 10th April. Session 9, I'm taking on 11th of April. 15th. Yeah, you can use this missing session 8, 9, 10. Tomorrow, session 7, 7, 8, 9. 10. So, what we can do is one of the days, you can be watch recording, one of the days you have to have it. It's clear up for you. We can, we can figure it out after exam. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And then, um, this is the second direction, one and second direction. Okay. Yes. Okay. Rest of um, this is uh, London. And then I'll directly take your RC when you come back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay hard. Stay hard.